what's going on youtube today i'm back with part three and the half basically it's the same as the last video is playing better defense in nba 2k24 but this one's gonna be focused on bigs so this build right here i believe i posted it already if not i'll make a video on it so you guys can see the build but this is pretty much an all-around big man um the one thing that i noticed the most about bigs in the wreck and mainly bigs anywhere is they just jump a lot at a lot of the shots that like if somebody drives like bigs just like to jump for some reason they just love blocking shots they don't like leaving the paint either so if they're going up against a, another big that can shoot the three they literally just don't like leaving the paint so basically i'm just going to try to break down everything right here in this game and just run things down so that you guys can get a better understanding of what should be going through your mind when you're playing defense in in 2k as a big so basically starting off right here you see this fast break i'm just trying to get a quick chase down obviously i couldn't get it so in situations like that you always want to jump because you never know what chase down animation you're going to get sometimes you also might get a foul but i think it's worth the risk because you can get the block if you have a lot of chase down um right there the opposite big man did a good job of playing defense right there that's one way you can play it and right there i'm just trying to take away passes because there was no way for me to contest that shot so in that situation it would be best to just take away the opposite pass from the the cross and hope that your teammates pick up and stop ball and then back on offense i was hoping to get the ball in the corner but once again solo wreck you, you guys know how that is um yeah solo wreck is is an experience in of its own and i personally am not a fan of it but that's for another video um i can't remember what happens right here i'm getting beat up the court thankfully they didn't pass it and right here one thing i try to do is when the opposite big is just standing in the paint i just want to hold l2 you see me get back door right there that's bad defense but when the opposite big is standing in the paint i just hold l2 and try to just hold them in the paint for as long as possible just to try to get them to have a three second and that's just one thing i try to do just to also clog up the other team's spacing so whenever like if you're off ball and you hold l2 on the opposite player then it kind of like gets the bump animation sort of kind of so that's just a way to hold the big in there for the three second violation and to just clog up the spacing so that's one tip right there and coming down the court you see the, right here i'm a little late i was the big was up top and i was just a little late coming down showing help i wanted to show a little earlier but that one's on me right there once my guard got beat i should have showed a lot earlier and yeah offensively in this game i really wasn't getting the ball but the thing is a defensive video um let's see what we got coming down so coming down my big gets the ball then he passes immediately on these screens that's too deep for him to take that shot so now i'm just trying to play the role because he's not shooting that from that deep off the off the screen i could tell just off how his player is and i checked the the stats before the game so i know he's not one of those shooters from anywhere type type of players so on those high screens you can kind of sag back but play close up enough to where if he got closer to the three-point line and he shot i would get a good contest or i could jump block and get a contest that way All right here you see we're just doing some nonsense this dude just wanted to be extra for some reason but yeah coming down let's see what we got so you see how my big is just trying to set screens i'm not really worried about him setting those screens nobody's coming off of those screens and if they do i'm playing in a in a space close and far enough to where I, i'm there to show if they do try to come off the screen and if not i'm i'm also um if they don't take the shot and he rolls and slips the screen I will be there for that as well so you kind of want to play that middle ground and play both then they try throwing it up to the big they get that animation i didn't go for the steal even though my big has like a 50 steal i get some here and there but i didn't want to go for that one and right there is a big thing of what i'm talking about when i say you guys don't have to leave your feet that much as a big you can really just put your hands up and if you have a high enough block and interior basically it's like how intimidator used to be and they're gonna miss he's gonna count as contest 
So in certain situations, there's gonna be a lot more in this game, if I recall correctly, but in certain situations, you really don't have to try to jump and block every shot because you're just leaving your feet and you're putting the rest of your team in a bad position because everybody else has to rotate or somebody gets backdoored and you're in the air. Now you can't even block the next shot. So you gotta understand that you can put your hand up and which shots to actually jump at and also when you jump there's also a way to do a vertical contest so i think there's going to be some for some reason real quick this game i just couldn't shoot so don't worry about my shooting y'all saw in the beginning where my stats actually look like i can actually shoot the ball i shot like one for like six this game from three for some reason but back to all saying with the vertical contest if you want to do a vertical contest which is how you like don't like you're, you can control your player when he jumps. So he jumps straight up instead of into the player and it reduces fouls. And you also get a quicker jump and a quicker contest. So pogo stick activates and it's even quicker than what it is if you're just jumping all over the court just by pressing triangle. So what you do is you hold R2 on PlayStation, you hold R2 or RT on Xbox and you press triangle and hold the left stick up. And I think triangle is Y on Xbox. So you basically hold the left stick up, hold R2, tap triangle, and you're gonna get a vertical contest and your player's gonna jump more vertical. And there should be some, um, I'll show you what it looks like sometime in this video. I know it happens sometimes in this game, but yeah, so I don't know what. Yeah, so that's just another tip right there that you guys can use that I know they I don't even think they have any um any settings or, or I don't even know if that's in 2KU I don't know but I know a lot of people don't really know about the vertical test and stuff like that but right there we took a bad shot like I'm saying right there always jump because you never know a what chase down animation you're gonna get and b what the offensive player is even about to do so you saw right there i got kind of close to getting the block but i wasn't able to get it but if you would have did like a slower dunk or a different reverse dunk i might have gotten the block so my build is an athletic big and he can get those chase down blocks and i have gotten a lot before so i always jump at him unless you actually don't have to but going back to breaking down the game you see the screens i'm not really worried about i'm not worried about him blowing by me and taking the dunk because like i said i have the chase down and you see right there i hedged the screen on the right side i don't come up too high but if you would have if the guard would have came off that screen i would have been in position to take away the fade that's one thing about this game that you want to do as a big you want to be able to take away the fade and take away all that space from the uh mid-range because they're so op uh, right there, there's really not much you can do about that in that setting. I could have, I should have stopped the three, but that one is a 50-50. It's hard when you're a big because you're naturally just slower, even if you have a fast big. Right there, I was stuck, and I also didn't feel like playing help outside because I don't know what, like where where my team was. So. In real game in a real game setting where i'm actually taking it extremely serious obviously i would have got out and that big did a good job of posting me up and keeping me inside right here the ball should come to me because my big is in terrible position it did but the man next to me was way too close so i wasn't able to take the shot because one defender was playing two of us because of the spacing on the court and that's for another video is offensive spacing. I'm gonna get into that in another video, but that's a good job by the defender being able to play two people, even though he didn't have to do much because the spacing was ruined by our own offense. Right here, ball should have went to me quicker, even though I'm bricks, should have went to me quicker, but it is what it is. And right here, I go for another jump because I get pretty high up. Don't get the block, but that's what I'm talking about when I say always jump for him because you never know what animation you're gonna get and it doesn't hurt. And just cause the AI matchups, this other team has just been kind of doubling ball and just going for a lot of steals. So there's gonna be a lot of stoppages in the game, but right here, I try to set a screen. I should, I tried to throw a bounce pass on the cut, didn't go through, that one was on me. It's a good move by him. He can't hit the shot though, but Right here, I try to just play enough space to where I can play both sides 
and I jumped on the left side because I didn't think he was going to do a reverse. I don't know if he intentionally did it or the game gave it to him, but either way, that's a good reverse dunk by him. And I tried to just take up that space and my help was a little too late. And you can also control the side that you jump to. So I know I said for the vertical test, you can just hold the left stick up. If you want to jump to the right side of the rim, you can hold the left stick to the right side. Like you can direct your player in the air to where you want him to jump for the most most times. Sometimes it won't go through properly, but that's just the way 2K is. Some things just don't go through. Uh, this play right here, not much happens. I'm just trying to hold my man down low and just keep the spacing really congested. So as a as a big, when your big is just inside, you kind of just want to clog up as much space as you can, just so you're you're ruining their spacing as well. Even if your big is slightly outside, I should have went up with that. Oh, I did. Even if your big is slightly outside, you want to just try to clog up as much space and take away as much open space as you can, just so that the offensive, like the offense can't really see what is actually open and what is actually not. So in my last video, I talked about baiting. Your guards are going to be baiting everything. Your locks are going to be baiting everything as well. So just clogging up space and just showing those obvious passes and just being able to read when the pass is actually going to happen can also help. So right here, you see me just clogging up the space. And one thing about uh, being a big, one thing about being a big is that for the three second violations, defensive three seconds is what I try to do is if somebody, if your man is, is close to the paint, you are technically in a close guarding distance. So you can stand in the paint and not get a three seconds as long as you're in within the legal guarding distance. So that's going to take a, if you don't know about that, that's going to take a minute for you to find out where it exactly is in 2K. But you can stand in the paint and then even if somebody else crosses, so say that corner cutter just crossed right in front of me, that's going to reset my three second timer. Even if he, once he leaves the paint, then it's going to start up again. So as long as you're in within legal guarding distance of any man on the, on the offense, your three second timer is going to continue to reset. So that's why you see me standing in the paint a lot more often. And you can also come down in the paint and bump somebody just to, just to reset that timer as well. So that's one thing about defense three seconds that I usually don't get a lot of them. Well, I honestly never do unless I'm not paying attention and stuff. But yeah, I usually don't get any because of that. You just got to know the legal guarding distance that you're allowed, even in, in real life and in 2K, it's both the same. That's a good dunk by him. But uh, in in both uh, real life and in 2K, it's the same. So just know that legal guard distance so you, you can clog up as much space in the paint and not get a three second violation. So you see right here, I pick up his, now the clock is reset and now I can just stand in the paint this whole time. Obviously I was in the paint for longer, but I'm in legal guarding distance of my man. You see me holding L2, just keeping him in the paint as long as I can. And cause I'm in takeover, I get that box out. Um, that swim move. So hoping somebody cut, he didn't cut, he didn't pass the ball back, but got it late and bricked. But yeah, that's uh, that's one huge thing I would say about being a big in the uh, game and in real life. Just know your legal guarding distance so that three second timer resets so you can clog up more space. So as you can see so far in this game, I'm doing pretty good defensively on my man. Everybody else is pretty much scoring, mainly off of fast breaks, but my dude wasn't really doing much and obviously i got caught up looking at the scoreboard and nor was my teammate playing so they get an easy bucket right there but we're coming down on offense obviously man's not playing our point guard was carrying i forget how much he had but you just saw it on the scoreboard he ended off with pretty much all all the points i'm not gonna lie he was he was carrying this wasn't my best game offensively, but right here, I got stuck on the big. I saw that cut coming. I was hoping my teammates saw it too, but yeah, I got stuck on my big holding L2 on him. So that off ball pass and all that sh stuff kind of just stuck onto him and I couldn't get off in time. But now, 
if he was passing the ball more, it would have been better. But you see, the AI is wide open. Now I'm open. Still doesn't come to neither one of us. But once again, good thing this is a defensive video because right, yeah, see, he has 32 right now. I only have two points, and I'm not doing nothing offensively. So, But right here, you see me just holding the back because basically we were playing three layers. So I was all the way in the back. They was just so congested right there that no matter who came down low i would have picked up whoever was up top the top most man would have picked up and that middle man would have took whoever spaced out and like i said i literally couldn't hit a single thing for some reason you see me lagging right here so i assume that it was just because i had just a slightly different connection or something i don't really know but for some reason i could not hit nothing this game i don't know what it was but once again, good thing this is a defensive video because this game was abysmal on offense for me. But right here on the screen, I would have picked up his man if he would have came all the way down. You see me basically sitting back right there. I should have had that first board, but I get the second one. You see me sitting back right there because th their offensive spacing, it, like they didn't have a shot. They didn't pose no threat shooting the ball because of how bad their spacing was. and. Whoever was on that screen, I can't remember, but whoever was playing help and whoever's other man was setting the screen, there was three people right there. My dude was setting one screen, there was another player just right next to him, and then there was the ball handler. Whoever was guarding that second player was literally right there, basically guarding the shot, so I was able to sit back. And then right there is another instance of me trying to get the chase down, still not getting it. I'm pretty sure I get one this game. Can't remember if there's this one or the one I played after. But yeah, right here, once again on offense, I get missed on a cut. It's a good jump shot though. And now I just want to get back and play defense because there's no point of me staying up top. We get a good steal here, but I don't push up because I know I'm slow enough. And in case we don't get it, I want to be back to play defense. He comes off with the dribble pull up. It's a pretty good shot. He ends up missing and I'm in a good position to get the rebound. Um, as a big, you always want to try to obviously protect the, the rim so you want to stay behind your opponent if he wants to post up and shoot those post fades and all that he can i don't think this one had it in his bag to do so but i would be able to contest and really want to be in position to get the rebound because offensive rebounds will kill you because your team will leak out a lot so if they was getting rebounds there was an easy kick out to open people Right there, I was hoping that he would have just let the AI shoot. But right there, I'm in position to get the offensive. And just like I'm saying right there, people leaked out. Kick out, easy kick outs is wide open shots. So you always want to be in position to get the defensive rebound as well. And that's by being the furthest man back. So right there, that's what I call like a soft hedge. You see me take it and then right there, I'm up enough to where when he came off the screen, I would have had the shot. If he would have blew by me, I would have got the bump. So I would have slowed him down as well. And because it was an AI, I was able to switch right back. If it was a human, I would hope that he switches back and gets back on his man, giving me enough time to get back to mine as well. So it was basically like a soft hedge and allow him to get back. Right there, I jumped because he had a little bit of space and I knew he wanted to go up. And if I would have just put my hands up, that would not have been enough to make him miss. So in situations like that is when you should jump is when he has that little crease of space and he, he wants to go up. So basically the way I look at it is I know he's going to shoot because it looks like an open shot. He thinks he has the shot and pretty much 99% of the community would take that shot. And I'm not going to lie, sometimes I would too. I would probably pump fake most of the time and kick it out, but sometimes I would try to go up and see what animation I would get. So you always want to... As you play more, you will see the tendencies of what people genuinely do in this game. Right there is a big thing that I do right there. You see the, the second man cut and then he flared out, but I kind of played both to where I was able to guard both until he flared out, but then I was just took ball because obviously the rule number one of a fast break is to stop ball. So that's what I did. I stuck with the ball and if he would have passed it, he would have had the open three, but I basically played the middle of them for long enough to make him try to make that decision and stick with it. So if I would have flared out earlier or took ball right away or took the, the second man right away, the off ball man right away, 
he would have been easier to make a decision but i wanted him to make that decision as late as possible and keep him guessing as to what i would do so that's pretty much how you want to play two on one fast breaks especially as a slower build and as a big you want to just play that middle ground because if he would have went up like he did i had the block if he would have kicked out it would have been more difficult so you want to just make that slow down the timing and then if he did kick out hopefully it would have been enough time for another man to come down and and help out and contest that shot or get the steal if they were close enough but yeah you just want to play that middle ground as long as you can and keep them guessing and then just stick with one make a decision if i would have flared out i would have flared out but if i wanted to play ball i would have played ball and that also just comes down to game situations and stuff like that as well like if they needed a three i would have flared out but they're down big he's probably just going to keep the ball because this game is getting kind of out of hand and it's very very it's looking slow for them to come back so situations like that fourth quarter they're down big people are just going to start taking shots so you can play more off the shot instead of playing more off the pass right here i think i finally get it right there he jumped because he saw me taking the shots and that looks like an open shot so he thought i would take it and in that situation, I didn't take the shot because that's I know that he thinks that I'm gonna take that shot because I took three of those already. I missed all three. He thinks I'm hungry for another three. So what did I do? I didn't take the shot and I drove and I got an easy dunk or whatever happened, I can't even remember. But yeah, so he sees me missing and taking those shots and being confident and being able to take those shots. So that's one reason why he jumped and that's the reason why I didn't take the shot. But right there, I still couldn't get it to go. I don't know why, but the timing just felt so weird or something. I should have took that three. I should have contested that, but I was just mad with how much I was missing probably. But that's inexcusable right there. Obviously I would have to get out. That's a complete mistake on me. And that's a missed cut right there, but I'm luckily in position. That's a good dunk by him as well. So now my man's inbounding. Usually I try to get the steal down there, but I was already so far back. There was no point of me even crossing half court. I step up here because I know he wants to take that shot because his man's not playing. He sees me rolling down and it's just like that. I know when people are trying to take shots because they think they have the space, but I am taking away that space. So that's just coming from the experience that I had playing the game and just knowing what people think are, are shots and what aren't shots. Obviously, this isn't the highest level of 2K. These aren't the, the best players, but this is the general population, especially of solo rec that I'm playing with. So you can start to get a sense of what passes people make and what shots people tend to take. And once you understand the spacing and realize how much space your player can take up, I knew my player can contest both those shots, so I spaced out to a certain point to where I would be able to jump contest both of those shots. So it's just taking away space and playing as much space as you can as with, with what your player allows. So if I was a slower player, a slower big, I probably want to want to get out a little earlier than what I did because my big is pretty fast. He's pretty quicker and he can, he can jump as well and, and contest those shots. So if you can't, you want to take away you want to take away that space even quicker than what I did and make those decisions and reactions quicker. So as we come up, you see me just getting missed completely, but I finally get it and now I finally activate double take so my player is even faster now. So that gives me more confidence. So you see me playing both right here. I like playing the big. I knew he wanted to take that shot because he came off the screen. Like I said, they're down. He just wants to shoot the ball because this game is kind of getting out of hand. And that's why I did the jump contest. I was still a little late. He's still, like you were playing a good guard or a good shooter, he's probably gonna hit that shot 10 times out of 10. But those are just the type of reactions that you wanna make and what's going through, what should be going through your mind. But coming down, I know I hit a three or a jump shot. I was about to clip that one if we didn't get that three second. I was a little upset with that, but it would have been a deep two anyway. So you see my stats, six, seven, 18. Obviously we're not worried about the offensive stats right now, but 18 rebounds. And that's because A, no disrespect to the big that I was guarding and was guarding me, but 
he wasn't bad but he wasn't the greatest obviously i think i hit this one i gotta hit that one oh thank the lord yeah so yeah the big i was guarding he wasn't the greatest but he definitely wasn't the worst but i was just taking away a lot of his options just like right there hands up no need to jump i'm in position to get the contest even down low he's not getting a mash or he's not getting none of that so you see me just hands up no jump because there's literally no need to jump so right here don't think i tried to set a screen now so you see our offensive spacing is just terrible so it allows for well we get a lucky bucket but it allowed for the defense to basically just play two for a, a pretty long time or play one play two yeah have one man play two for a long time and just take away a lot of our shots because our spacing was so bad but down here you see the shot goes up i got takeover so i could see if it was a make or a miss and seeing it was a make so there was no need to jump boxing out old l2 he gets a nice animation i was a little upset about that one but because especially because i was in take but game's pretty much over at this point so i'm not really worried i come up top i'm trying to set a screen now i'm trying to just get the ball i do a fast cut still not getting the ball i just wanted to score just to hit 10 but then i just dime it just to hit that eight assists but they i didn't take it but the game was already over but yeah that's pretty much a defensive game for a big how it should go in the in the solo rec once you uh play more and get more experience you'll start to understand how the game generally goes and stuff like that but that's pretty much all i got for you guys in this video i know i got two more big videos coming out maybe this bill video i just played a pretty od game with them and i know i played an offensive game as well and i played a pretty well-rounded game so i might drop both of those I might not i don't know what the order is but i definitely got a lot more content coming out for you guys so like comment and subscribe hit the notification to see when the next video is coming out and if you guys got any questions want to run anything just drop it down in the comments and i'll get back to y'all in a response but that's all i got and i'll see y'all in the next one